met him about two months ago Said his name was Jim and that he'd make me better than before So we work it out every day, we be making heads to flow Hey guys, welcome back to my channel And today we'll be getting into this beautiful look right here The butterfly effect It wasn't supposed to be a butterfly effect, but it turned out to this I tried my best. Now, let's get into this video. So, before I get into this video, I prime my eyelids with the shape tart and then I apply the shade B and then I apply the shade 518. So right now I'm going to apply the shade Skip from the James Charles palette. All the colors that I'm going to be using for this video is from the James Charles palette. But you don't want to um, put eyeshadow all over your whole lid. Like you just want to put it in your crease. Because later on we're going to we're gonna be doing a cut crease. So right now we're going to be using the shade Escape. And you're going to make sure you blend them into each other because each individual eyeshadow needs to be blending into each other like if it's fading and now we're going to be using the shade playground this nice blue shade and for the last shade we're going to be using social blade which you're going to put at the end of the tip of your brow and that's going to be the last color that we use from this palette so right now i'm going to blend everything out make sure everything is fading into each other and then once i'm fully comfortable with everything looking as nicely and blend how I want it then I'm just gonna pack the color that I want just pat it a little bit so it, the color can stand out more so the same concealer that I used earlier to prime my eyelids I'm gonna be using for my cut crease which is the sh um, Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair and you're always going to want to have a lighter concealer for your eyeshadow base. Just so the colors can actually stand out. So I suggest anyone who's doing makeup, take your time while doing a cut crease. As you can see, I was struggling just to do my cut crease. Because I don't do my makeup often. So when I do do a cut crease, I have to take my time. Because sometimes I'll be messing up and then you got to re-add the eyeshadow. So yeah, just letting you know. Just take your time. It's not going to go nowhere. Just take your time, especially if you're working with a concealer. Um, some baking powder. Um, I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder to just um, set my, my eyelid where it has the concealer. And then I'm going to go in with the shade from the James Charles palette, canvas, just so I could give this nice, like, not white look, but a little bit like a tan look. I'm taking my NYX glitter primer and I'm just using a regular um, old eyeliner thingy that I had so I could um, put my NYX glitter primer on my eyelid just so I could just outline my cut crease and then later on I'm going to put my glitter. So now I'm going to apply this silver glitter that I got from Amazon. And I'm just going to put it on the outline of the cut crease. So right now I'm going to be using my eyelash glue and I'm going to put dot, like a little dot. And then I'm going to put rhinestones, eight rhinestones actually. And I got the rhinestones from Dollar Tree. And it's just gonna be, I'm applying on my um, cut crease as I go. So once I'm done with my eyeshadow, I'm gonna be applying my eyelashes off of camera. And then I'm doing my foundation, concealer, and contour off of camera as well because I know that was gonna make the video too long. And I'm pretty sure y'all know how to do y'all foundation, concealer and contour so i forgot to mention i put foundation on my lips 
I'm gonna be using the same colors that I used earlier for my eyeshadow and I'm using the shade social blade but this time I'm not starting with yellow like how I did with my eyelid so I'm gonna be doing it backwards the colors so the end of my of my eyelid which is green I'm gonna be going in that order Um, I'm applying this blue shade from the same shade from earlier, Playground. And then the next shade after that should be purple, which is Escape. And then after that shade, it'll be pink, which was Skip. So now I'm applying the shade 518, which is orange. So you're going to do the orange just like how all the rest of the colors are, just up and down. And then for the yellow, you want to make it kind of like into a smile. It doesn't really show as much in the video, but that's how I was trying to do. So right here I took my NYX Epic Ink Liner and you kind of want to draw like if it was like f into like a flower like if you're drawing like the petals but I thought it was going to be easy it really isn't like take your time because literally I did my face like a good well half of my face I did it like a good three four times because I messed up. And I realized doing the the flower on the bottom is actually harder than doing it from the top. But my advice, if you're gonna be doing this, I suggest like um like you pull your lips in, if that makes sense, because that makes it easier. So right here, I realized that I messed up. I was not supposed to actually draw all the way in like the eyeliner, like connect them the top to the bottom but i can this look was supposed to be different it wasn't supposed to be what it came to be as what it is right now but i guess it kind of looked like a butterfly so i just went with flow even though it doesn't really look like a butterfly but hopefully i'll get to recreate this look and try to make it look better so now you're gonna make like a petal but sideways or i guess you could say a petal or a leaf like how you want it but not really a leaf like just like the outlining of of it at first so right now from the same palette as earlier right now i'm taking a different shade which is spooky the shade black and you're gonna want to um use that black shade but try to like fade it so it can look more realistic but don't put too much. So right now I'm going to be using my NYX glitter primer. And I'm just going to be applying it on the... I do it one by one, individual. Just because um, you got to clean your, um, your tool. Because you're doing different shades as you go. So I'm using the glitters that I got from Amazon. They're, you could literally find any glitters from Amazon or anywhere. And mostly, most of them are affordable. So I'm just going to be putting all the shades is set for the yellow shade. So I didn't require myself doing all the glitters for each shade because I already demonstrated in the first shade. And I didn't think I would really want to watch me do one by one as I go. 
So the intention for this look, I was supposed to do a skull nose in black with black um, eyeliner, but I didn't do that because I just got this piercing and I didn't want to have the struggle of irritating my um, piercing. So for anyone who does do this look in the future, try to do it with the skull nose in black. And um, if anything, just um, send me some pictures or show me some pictures on my Instagram. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you guys liked this video as much as I did. Um, but like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts about this video on this look and what other things you would like to see me do in the future. And let's just get into it real quick before I head out. Okay, boom.